lesson, check the description box below in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to other goodies via my Patreon page. Continuing. So we got a capo at the fifth fret standard tuning. What we got here is a, well, it's an E minor chord, but I am doing a Carter style scratch on it. So there's my thumb. It's gonna get that, uh, you know, that E there, that second fret with my nails. I'm gonna do that. That's a flick and then the pads get it on the way back. That's basic Mama Maybell Carter scratch. Scratch, scratch. And then I thought it would be cool Put a little hammer on down there. What is that? The second fret there of the A string. Ooh, getting interesting. Now let me go grab a, a Dave Rawlings note. That's the revelator note. So grab the revelator note, that F sharp there. Still with that flick. Now that flick, it can be those two or it can be all three. I let it be a little bit sloppy. Maybe to my own detriment, maybe not. So that pattern. By the way, slow down gears. Down here, put it to three quarter speed. It makes your life easier. Or up here if you're on a tablet. Arrows go five second forward, five second back. Spacebar pause is a great way to work with guitar lessons on YouTube. So. Rawlings, hammer on. Wow, what a cool riff. Even that, and again, don't play it fast. It's the key to many things, specifically guitar practice. We're always tempted to go too fast. My professional advice is, don't. All right, then I was like, hmm, what's like a, a Gillian Welch, David Rawlings thing to do? This kind of that got that ambivalent, floaty, ghostly thing that they do. I was like, well, it would go up to like an A, maybe an A7, because like, that would be a weird kind of a Dorian lift. And then my brain was like, yeah, but that's too regular. I was trying to get more of those those things in, so I was aiming, I was like, well, I sure could make it into an A9, couldn't it? By getting that in there, and then I was like, well, oh, it was, it was that one, sorry. So I have an A, again, I'm pretending there's no capo, A, G, B, and there's my C sharp, so I still get a second, because that's why I was looking for those, those weird things. That chord, if you see, zero, five, four, two, that's an A9. Same pattern. So thumb gets the root, flicky. And then I was like, well. I was like, I, I don't know. I wanted to put a little bit of a melody in there. So boom, flicky. Well, boom, flick. And on the up flick, they come off. Thumb gets that, <laughs> the revelator note. The fourth fret there, and then wait, I gotta slow it down. And then yeah, the thumb gets that, and then the flick gets O two O. And then I do like a little bluesy. And I either it varies. I'm either gonna go that's fourth fret of my G. So that pattern. Yeah. Probably hit that and then back. And then so on. And then uh, let me just double check that my iPad is still rolling. Sometimes it just stops recording. There it is. It's okay. Technology. 
Okay, um, and then turn around. Look, a C chord. I've used this lick, I don't know, probably 30 times by now. That's just like a C major scale. Using like Chet Atkins, Bill Frizzell, plus Dave Rawlings, open strings to get melody, so you do get nice crossover. O, three, five, O on the B. Two, O, four, O. So you get a lot of crisscrossy. I don't know if you can see how much I'm using two fingers. Do not, or I do not recommend. Nope, not going to work. Yeah, if you really want to get slick with finger style, you gotta start to get, um, you know, I learned it from Chet Atkins practicing scales like. Yeah, and from playing pedal steel too, where you actually alternate, alternate picking is, is between two fingers. Anyway. I was like, well, that's neat. So I've modulated away from Dorian back into standard minor. But I wanted to keep it natural minor, so I didn't do a B7, I did a B minor 7. 2 O, 2 O. And I was like, well, what's a similar phrase? Kind of more of a blues phrase, getting us back to the E. O, 3 O, 2 O. And then I come back to the E minor. And that's how I snuck a blues maneuver in there. That's the same, watch out. A little pull off from one to zero on the A that time. C again, same thing. And then a different, you know, just make a nice cadence. Because there's B minor and I'm thinking, really I'm thinking of, minor pentatonic, really, which happily gets us back to E. Two, O, three, O, wait. Yeah, two, O, three, O, O, and then. And now I do a Dorian run, my camera's running out of batteries, so I'm gonna start talking fast. Two, hammer on, four, O, two, four, O, two, Hopefully it will, I'll catch it in time. There you go. Okay, so what, to review my thought process. It is a thought process, I'm a cerebral guy. Um, I was like, I really wanted to do a video that focuses on like those seconds, those revelator notes or, or other things. And I was like, oh, playing around with it. And then for whatever reason, I was like, I always like to do this Carter style scratch swappy kind of slappy rye cooter mark knopfler maybell carter thing so i merged them and it makes a pretty dope little uh groove um that i think dave would approve of anyway take your time with it and everything you ever practice um there's nobody making you play things fast but yourself good luck